What's going on everybody? I am back with another underdog MLB player props video. This one gonna be breaking it down. Give me guys five picks because you winning some money over here on underdog as always. If you haven't checked out underdog, would highly recommend you check them out. It is a player props website and app where you can win money off of picking the over and under on things like players, pitch count, strikeouts, fantasy points, total bases, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 today. Again, that is code KJKDFS. Go to lock that in. Get that free money offer. Start winning some money over here on Underdog with these picks today, guys. If you are getting very serious, I do offer premium content packages. That's linked below in the description. Patreon.com slash KJK underscore DFS. I do offer prize picks. I won't be Underdog. I will be Underdog WNBA. Prize pick WNBA. And I did just launch the VIP member package. If you're getting very serious, do also um provide a, an exclusive vip member package you're going to get access to an exclusive discord every single one of my packages and i also always send in all my tickets as soon as i send them uh before these videos are released so you can get the best edge before the public finds out in these lines change which actually just happened i think right as i was about to record this video so this one's going to be a little bit strange because i had five picks for you guys i already locked them in myself and now it looks like the board changed so i'm just going to give you guys kind of an idea of where my head was at and whatever's on the board and available you take i'm going to be publishing my ticket and uh counting you know what i placed as you know my record because that's what i placed but um i'm not even sure if the the, the plays that i had are, are longer available so uh, we'll talk about it but if you enjoy the content would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that i upload like on all these videos, it's going to be 200 likes. It's free. It takes two seconds. It really helps me out. So if you hit that like button, really do appreciate it. So let's talk about it. So game by game, as you always do. We're going to talk about one game. It is Coors Field. San Diego Padres taking on the Colorado Rockies. This game comes in with a massive 12 total. And I want to be loading up on the bats. I already submitted this ticket. Like I said, uh, a couple of those plays appear to have changed or be taken down, though. So um, I'll just talk about what I can here. Uh, as far as course field is concerned, great hitting environment, best hitting environment in the entire league. Pulling up the diagram as far as course field, you can see green, 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 green going on as far as the hitting environment. Fantastic. The weather, it's going to be 79 degrees, about 80 degrees, 8.40 p.m. Eastern time is the game. Eight mile an hour blown up the center, though, left center, so it should be nice hitting weather here. And uh, we'll kick things off with the away team, the San Diego Padres. They have a massive 6.53 implied run total. They're taking on Jose Urena, who... It doesn't strike anyone out. So the ball is going to be put in play early and often. He only has an 8% Q rate overall, 7.1% swing strike rate. He walks a lot of people. Um, limited sample size here, but we have a, a larger sample size of Urena over his career. It's always been the same thing. He's a sinker baller that tries to keep the ball on the ground. He doesn't strike anyone out. And that's going to be a recipe for disaster in course field because um, it's tough, man. If you let the ball be put in play, there's a good chance it's going to find some grass. So We'll kick things off with Manny Machado. He's going to pick number one here. Really like it in this environment on the road. They get the guaranteed top of the ninth at bat. The Rockies' bullpen is also very bad. Uh, Machado has a 190 ISO with a 380 Woba off right-handed pitching this year. So really solid Woba. Really great hitter, as we know. He's been in the league for quite some time now. And uh, definitely want to be taking advantage of his prop over here on Underdog. So we'll be taking the over 9.5 fantasy points for Manny Machado. Pick number one. If you don't know how fantasy points works on underdog, quick little uh, explanation as to the, the fantasy point scoring here. As far as hitting is concerned, you get three points for every single, six points for every double, eight points for every triple, 10 for every home run, three for every walk, three for every hit by pitch, two for every RBI, two for every run, and four for every stolen base. So uh, Machado, I expect there to be lots of runners on base when he gets up. The guys in scoring position, lots of opportunities for RBIs, hits, walks. If he gets walked, I expect him to get hit around oftentimes. And once again, they are the away team, so I expect him to get lots of at-bats. Massive opportunity here. Once again, Jose Arena doesn't strike anyone out. Ball should be put in play early and often. Machado in the two spot. Um, can't ask for a much better spot here than this. And then lastly, like I said, the uh, Colorado Rockies bullpen is really bad. They have the sixth worst, bull sixth worst bullpen in the entire league. So Machado, fantastic spot here. Great hitting in weather. Great hitting ballpark. Uh, we'll be taking the over... Um, 9.5 fantasy points for him. Pick number one. Pick number two. We're going to go to his teammate in the three spot, Jake Cronenworth. Once again, fantastic hitter. Lefty against Jose Arena. Should have plenty of opportunity. Uh, you're looking at his statistics on the season. He features a 300 Wobo with a 150 ISO. So once again, very solid hitter. Over 300 Wobo against right-handed pitching. Once again, Arena doesn't strike anyone out. Once again, it's course field. Great hitting environment. Uh, you really can't ask for much more. So I will be rocking with the over 1.5 total bases here for Jake Cronenworth as pick number two. And uh, pick number three is where things get a little bit dicey here. I already locked in Luke Voigt over 1.5 total bases. That appears to have been taken down after I submitted my ticket. 
So I can no longer give you guys that pick unless it goes back up on the board, but that was my pick. Um, not seeing that it's available. So, I mean, you could fill it in with Trent Grisham, Nomar Mazzara. I don't like those guys nearly as much as I do Voight. I mean, I want to be on Machado, Cronenworth, and Voight personally. So maybe just go with uh, Machado and Cronenworth. Those two picks were the same picks that I have in my ticket. Uh, and then, so pick number three would have been Luke Voigt over 1.5 bases. If they add that, I love that play. I already have it locked in. So hopefully they add that back up to the board. But uh, right as soon as I submitted it and I went to record this, I saw that after I'd submitted my ticket, they had taken it down. So uh, pick number four was going to be uh, Chris Bryant. And I have the over 1.5 total bases for him. That has now been swapped to 8.5 fantasy points. So just to be transparent with you guys, that is no longer what I have in my ticket. However, um, I'm still willing to go to the fantasy score here for him because... I do think he's going to be in a position to, to rake here. He's taking on Shamanaya, who does give up quite a few slugging to uh, righties. I do prefer the bases. Like, it stinks that I had I had the bases locked in. I really wish you guys could have got the bases too, because I think that's easier to get than the fantasy points here, with this team having not as high of an implied total as the Padres. Like, I like the fantasy score for Machado. They have a higher fantasy score. I'm sorry, a higher implied run total. They're on the road. The Rockies' bullpen's worse. They're also facing a worse pitcher in Urena as comparison to Manaya. Um, I'll give you guys the go on Chris Bryant fantasy score i still really do like the spot here uh, take it on manaya just being fully transparent though i did get his 1.5 total bases which i do like a lot more uh but i will give you guys an official pick of over 8.5 fantasy points for, for chris bryant i still like it i think there's a solid chance he could maybe take manaya deep even get some uh, you know runners on base some run scoring in um some runners in scoring position and i really like this matchup because manaya uh does give up slugging to righties but he does have a pretty decent k rate so we're looking to target low strikeout guys that can rake lefties and the rockies have two of them that i'm going to be targeting so number one is chris bryant he's a 240 iso with a 390 woba absolutely matches left-handed pitching uh once again in the two spot got removed from the last game with cramping but i think he's going to be fine uh you know it's just cramping so they probably he had to probably get some hydration um some water in his system and i think he'll be good to go uh, in this one, so I don't think that's going to limit him from joining the lineup in this one. That was yesterday in Arizona. Uh, I think he probably got some hydration, uh, some rest, and he's probably going to be good to go here. So I'm not too worried about the the cramping uh, for him impacting his status here. So we'll go with the over 8.5 fantasy points. But once again, I do have it at 1.5 total basis personally. I wish we could have got that. But uh, pick number five, the final pick, is still available. So we will be going with Brendan Rodgers. He also matches lefties. He also doesn't strike out a lot. So. Uh, once again, Manaya, high strikeout guy, but he does get some slugging. Chris Bryant only strikes out 12% of the time against left-handed pitching as a 222 ISO. Uh, Rogers only strikes out 11.9% of the time against left-handed pitching. Uh, he also matches left-handed pitching. You're looking at his statistics, 220 ISO with a 410 Woba on the season. So really, really good against lefties. Both these guys are. And uh, my final pick will be the over 1.5 total basis for Connor. I'm sorry, not Connor Joe. <laughs> Brendan Rogers. Brandon Rogers is my final pick. You could go with Connor Joe as well. He was actually the one listed as fantasy points before. Um, and he got swapped the bases and Chris Bryant got swapped the fantasy score. So that changed prior to me making this video. I do prefer Brendan Rogers and Chris Bryant though. So I'm not giving you an official pick of Connor Joe. I'm just saying he has bases now. So if you want to go to that, I don't hate the play. But my official play is Brendan Rogers. So those are my five picks. Like I said, things got a little bit dicey here with them removing Voight and uh, changing Chris Bryant to fantasy score. I still like him. If you want to just stick with the player, my official plays, my official plays that I was able to lock in would be uh, Manny Machado over 9.5 fantasy points, um, Jake Cronenworth over 1.5 total bases, and lastly, Brendan Rodgers over 1.5 total bases. Those are the three that did not change since I submitted my ticket personally. So if you want to just stick with those, but I do like those other guys, like I said, uh, Chris Bryant, fantasy score, and um, yeah, so if you want to lock in the Chris Bryant fantasy score, I guess we'll round things out with saying my my official ticket for this video is going to be Machado, Cronenworth, and Rogers. even though my official ticket is with Voight and uh, Chris Bryant basis, so that's going to be the one I'm launching. If that goes 5-0, I'm counting it as 5-0. and I can't control the fact that the site pulled down the lines. It really stinks, but uh, those are the three that are official that are still in play that I have in my ticket, so... Sorry for the misfortune of them taking it down as soon as I locked it in. I cannot control that. I do my best to provide you with the most amount of value possible. And um, if you want to still lock in the, the Bryant fantasy score, I like it. I don't like as much spaces. So if you want to go off of that and just lock in those three, that's understandable as well. Wouldn't hate that idea. If you want to mix and match them to mitigate your risk, you can. If you want to go for the big five-man play to 20 extra money, you can over here on Underdog. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. If you haven't checked out the premium content packages, check those out, link below in the description. 
And uh, if you haven't signed up for Underdogs, sign up today. Use that promo code KJKDFS. Receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100. Wishing you all the best of luck on your props today, tonight. And we will see you in the next one.